Elliot, grand final week. You've probably been asked this a million times now, but uh, how excited are you for the game on Saturday? Yeah, I'm quite relaxed at the moment, but yeah, we, we understand the magnitude of the game and what it means to the club and our people, but um, as a player, you just have to stay relaxed and keep feet on the ground and just enjoy the week, enjoy the build-up and yeah, take it, don't take it for granted. I guess it's that once the referee's whistle blows, it's, it's a normal game again, but all the build-up before, is that what where the nerves come from? Yeah, but you have to embrace it uh, uh, and, and acknowledge it and and try to enjoy it as much as you can but obviously you've got to get a balance with that you can't you know can't relax and, and uh, you know we understand what's at stake but we have to stay focused and, and ready and, and prepared to do our job but we let all, everybody else in the stadium enjoy the game and the occasion and us as players hopefully we can put on a good spectacle for the people that are here What's Willie Peters done in the last couple of years to take you to two finals and, and second in the league? He's done a lot um, he's Improved standards at the club. He's, you know, he's very demanding of, of us as a playing group. Um, he's honest. He, you know, he's very clear of what the, what he wants and what he wants his whole KR team to look like. And it's us as players who have to try and execute that. And I think we're doing a pretty good job. But we, you know, we're we're not content with being second and losing finals and losing semi-finals. We uh, we know what we want to achieve, and, and it's not that. To get two within 80 minutes of the championship does that show you how big Hull KR are at the minute and how big you can get in the future yeah we have to acknowledge that but at the same time no one remembers who finishes second um, so like I said we're not just content to be here um, we don't want to keep losing finals yeah we made progress but uh, you know the, the the group that we've got we've got inner belief but you know not arrogance but you know we recognise what, what we've got within our four walls if you like at Craven Park and um, like I said, we don't want to. We don't want to be known as losers, and, and no one remembers who finishes second. So, um, yeah, we're, look, we're building and the, the team off the field. are doing a really good job as well at the club. You know, the CEO, the board, everybody behind the scenes are doing their job, and us as players, we can only control what we do on the field, and uh, that's that's my job to, to to execute that. You're coming up against the Wigan side, who obviously finished just top of the table above you, but they've got every single trophy in the game at the moment. How do you plan to to beat them? Uh, well, we look at ourselves to start with. We look at where we can improve on last week and, and things that we need to fix up and what we can do better. And then you look at the team you're going to face. And this, that's what we do every single week. Um, when we play Wigan, it's no different. We we recognise their threats that they've got. They're, they're a very good team. You know, the, People talk about their individuals they've got, but they're a really good team. You know, They work well for each other. They've got really good systems. So you know you have to counteract that and, and try and stop them and, and then try and throw our own system against them. And, you know trying to let them stop us so you know it should be two great teams going out on Saturday and it should be a really good game for the neutral and you know a really good one to watch his first three second and you know we're, we're wanting to play our part in it Have you got any expectation of what the noise is going to be like when you, you lead the team out on Saturday? Uh, nah it's going to be pretty loud uh, but yeah no I'm really excited for that you know I want to embrace it you know not every day you get to play at a stadium like this and try and uh, you know make our people proud you know this sea stand is going to be absolutely rocking with all KR supporters and, and rightly so you know they, they get behind us every single week and you know they'll be all looking forward to coming here and cheering us on and you know but just embrace it and embrace the atmosphere and it's a real privilege to play in front of you know play at such a good stadium in front of so many people you're the captain obviously a, a, an important leadership role but how important is someone like Ryan Hall who's been here and, and won here so many times going to be this week for you yeah he's unbelievable all this obviously his last game for the club but uh, you know, he's already started to pass, pass on knowledge. He's done that, you know, way before this week. He's done it since ever since he's been at the club about what's expected in big games, what's expected of you as a player, as a person. And yeah, he's, he's got his few little tips that he's given us. But, uh, you know, look, it's just another game. We've got to enjoy it, enjoy where we are, but go and execute the game plan and, and go and perform. 